Today we're going to show you how to install the LG 3699. It's for the RSV, the standard, and also the deluxe light kit. Okay, now when we're starting to install the LG T699, the first thing we want to do is set up our point near the battery. Now you don't want to connect two cables. Obviously, here's your your power cable, and the black cable is going to be your ground cable. But you just want to kind of put it next to the battery so we have a good judgment of where our cables are going to go. Uh, another step in this that I would suggest doing is just zip tying that point that way as you're moving along nothing moves out of place so just take it and zip tie it to another harness that is also near the battery now once that's set you can start working towards the rear is what I recommend you want to run the first driver's side cable on the inside of the bar, like so. And then, make sure it clips in to the notch that's already on the RXV's wheel well. As we move over to the passenger side, we're gonna run the, the harness along the bar and on the inside of the pole. Attach it to the notch that's built into the wheel well. Now with this particular harness you will have a little bit more slack so what you want to do is take any excess and then secure it to the frame of the RXV. Once that's complete now we're going to work on moving the entire harness and work it to the front of the, of the cart. What you're going to do is go under the chassis. So you're going to drop it below and go underneath the driver's side. Again, this is another reason why it's a good idea to zip tie everything to your main point by the battery. As you can see, we want to zip tie the split loom, the wiring harness, crawl down and underneath the chassis and attach it to the chassis. You just want to make it so it's secure and that it's not going to move anywhere. Um, at this point, you want to make sure that all slack is uh, up to the front of the cart. Uh, that way you have plenty of room to work with. Now once you have the um, harness securely to the chassis coming up from underneath, now we want to bring it up to the front and top of the cart. So, bring it up underneath. There's a little trap door in the front of the RSV that will allow you to bring the cable through. Now again, you want to do this one at a time to make your life easier. Another thing that might help you is to unplug this harness just while you're installing or trying to go through the trap door. That way you have a little bit more room. Now once you have that done, there should only be two cables 
coming off your harness that don't go through the trap door. The first one is your brake cable. That's going to go back up underneath towards the brake pedal. The other one is your horn, which you're going to want right about here where this rail is. That's going to allow you to plug it in and actually attach your horn. As far as your brake cable, you're going to want to bring it from underneath the chassis up through in front of the brake, like so. This will allow you to attach this to the actual brake pad once you have that installed. Now once here at the front of the RXV, that harness that we took off to make our lives easier, you're going to go ahead and plug the harness back in. Now, this might look a little funny, but this just gives you the option to make the entire brake light light up or not. So if you're not looking for a very, very bright, full-on rear lights, you would use the solid red. Now if you're looking for a brighter brake light, then you want to use the red with the stripe and then just recirculate it back into that same harness. Now, these two harnesses, two plugs, one is for your outlet, 12 volt outlet, so if you're, you know, attaching a cigarette light or some type of power source. And then this other one here is to actually control the lights, turning, turning them on and off. You want to make sure that this is going up into the dash. Your last two plugs are for your headlights. One to the to the passenger side. And one to the driver's side. Now as far as the hooking up the switch, this has to be ran to the back of the dash. Okay, now when you place your switch into the dash, obviously you have to drill. You want to use a 3 8 drill bit, approximately an inch and a half left to right from the molding, and about an inch from the top of the molding into the dash. You want to mark it, you use a sharpie, whatever you feel comfortable with, and then using that 3 8 drill bit, and you want to go ahead and drill in the hole. The switch obviously just twists on and you want to lock it into place. Once it's in place, you're going to take the harness that has the two red uh, plugins for the switch and just push them into place. Now that you have everything zip tied, every, all the cables where they need to be organized and clean and neat, the last step is to connect this to the battery. 12 volt to your positive and also your black cable to ground to the negative on the battery. Once you hook these up, your installation should, it should be complete and what you want to do is test your lights to make sure they work properly. Thank you and have a great day.